Hi. After observing the uh, Philips Pasta Maker in action, I decided to go out and buy one for myself. And I really believe that this has been one of the best investments I've made in my kitchen for a very long time. I think that one of the most important things about this machine and the recipes when you use it is that you have to follow the recipe exactly, particularly if you're using a pasta that requires uh, an egg in it. Uh, an egg and too little water makes it very, very dry. An egg and too much water makes it unmanageable. So it's important that you follow the instructions. If it says 95 grams of water and egg, then make sure that's what you're doing. Today I'm going to make spaghetti. So here we have our ingredients. 250 grams of plain flour and one egg and enough water to take is up to 95 grams. We're now going to start putting it all together so we add our flour to the main chamber of the machine. Lift the, the top on and push the start button and off we go for three minutes. Now we slowly add our egg and water into the little slot here on the side of the machine and that will start mixing up with the flour to give us the crumbly mix as I said to you before. The machine is going to stop and then it's going to start extruding the pasta and here we go you can see it coming out of the spike. We have our little cutter ready so that once it gets to the right length we can cut it off. The quality feels really good, it's not too wet uh, and we're just going to let it go for about 20-25 centimeters and then uh, we will chop it off. So there we have our first spaghetti. We add a bit of flour here and ruffle it up a bit just to mix it up uh, and there we go. One portion uh, weighs around about 300 grams uh, when it's completed. It is possible to uh, take what you don't need if you're only doing for two people and you need about 80 grams per person. Put the rest in, into a bag, into a deep freeze. It freezes wonderfully. The machine has now gone into reverse mode to pick up all the little bits and pieces that are hanging around the sides and maybe on the screw. It'll work them backwards and then push them towards the screw and it's just stopped again and it'll now push them in and we've now got the final little bit of dough being pushed through uh, the machine. I made the bolognese sauce a little earlier today. There we have it, spaghetti bolognese.